it's our view that Bannon is one of the chief people behind the idea of America First. Uh, we think I think Donald Trump does feel these things in his heart. I think he's a genuine man, but I think that Bannon was the strategy behind stressing American nationalism as the heart of his campaign, as the meaning of his whole movement. And if Bannon is lost, uh, I think that would be a very bad thing. Uh, I don't know what's going on, but from what I hear, uh, he is a voice against the campaign in Syria. Uh, he's a voice for moderation on all these issues. He's a voice of sensibility. He's a voice of, let's focus on the things we talked about. Immigration, not getting into bad wars, helping out American workers, all that kind of stuff. Let's focus on that. And so that's why we support Bannon. You were protesting a war on Saturday against just the, the uh, strikes against Syria. Yes. Since then, Trump has launched the largest bomb since the nuclear bomb yes. uh, against Afghanistan. Do you, do you have some concerns about that? Uh, I, to be honest, the mother of all bombs struck me as, as pure bluster. You could say that it's part of a geopolitical strategy. It was a kind of sense of, I'm going to go big and I'm going to shock everyone. Uh, but in terms of a tactical achievement of destroying Al-Qaeda, I, I think that was minimal to, to zero, basically. Right. So it was a basic, a big show of force. But we're talking about, like, what's the point of it all? Like, what is our ultimate strategy in foreign policy? We can, we can show force and bluster all we want, but what are we really trying to get out of this? And uh, last time, of course, there were a lot of people out there to counter-protest you. How, how has the response been today? Uh, a lot lighter. I, I think we've seen, uh, I mean, th this one is minute. the, we've seen, you know, one or two so-called uh, black bloc uh, people, Antifa, uh, nothing major. I say no to war. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thoughts yeah. for peace. Thoughts for peace. She's cute. Uh, so I feel. I sorry. I lost. Yeah. <laughs> what was I saying? Um. What? The response. How how have people oh, responded to you outside uh, the White Yeah. House? That that woman was probably indicative. It was like, yeah, I'm right. confused and perhaps on some kind of <laughs> substance. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much, Richard. Got a lot of young folks here. A lot of young folks who are messing around with some really nasty politics that's going to follow them mm -hmm. as they go along in their lives and in their careers. One kid that we took, that we saw here, he's 18 years old, and he's he's standing next to like identity Europa guys. Does he really want to be a part of this? Because I, I can tell you this right now, a lot of the folks that I knew 16 years ago are not in the game anymore. A lot of folks because they have kids now, they have families now. I know one guy who said he was doing HVAC work making hundred thousands of dollars going around the country but when Antifa started um doxing him now he's having a hard time getting a job anywhere right do you really want that as as uh as do you really want this albatross you, what 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 happened here today um well there was a keep bannon flash mob um, a bunch of people showed up with signs there was a big uh, free kekistan chant then richard showed up spoke on his megaphone um, spoke out against the syrian war got confronted by a couple of people i think but mostly peaceful um, and now there's some people still hanging out with keep bannon signs but when it comes down to it, Steve Bannon, we know, stands for Main Street, not for Wall Street, not for the globalists. He stands for the American people, the American worker. That's why we voted for Trump, and that's why we want to keep Steve Bannon in there and fight back against these mainstream media lies against him. So the people that are, are for the inter more interventionism and, and further American ground troops going overseas are not Steve Bannon. Those are the neocons. Those are H.R. McMaster, that's Gary Cohn, that's Dina Powell. Those are the people that are pushing against the stuff. We, Steve Bannon, on the other hand, is the one who says, hey, okay, let's go after ISIS, sure, let's bomb the you-know-what out of ISIS, and for the rest of it, not get involved and let those policies stay there. So we know that having Steve Bannon as that voice of, of uh, you know, mediation in the White House when some of these crazy ideas come up is better for us, is better for people that support America first, rather than having him not in it.